What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916, and you're tuning into another edition of my vlog. Hopefully, you subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at that 10,000 mark, and when I hit 10,000, I'm gonna be giving away a pair of shoes, size 12 and a half, brand new. So, subscribe, you automatically enter to win the shoes, and hopefully, uh, you know what I'm saying, you'll make it happen. Anyways, I want to talk today about walking the walk. You know, I like to stay motivating you guys always sharing positivity and what I mean by walking the walk is be the boss of your own path don't let somebody else dictate how you carry yourself what you choose to do with your lifestyle how you want to live or how you view things in the world a lot of times we let people influence us to the point it drives us crazy. It makes us angry, it makes us bitter. And all you gotta do is simply say, you know what, I'm gonna walk my own walk. To hell what they're talking about. It doesn't matter what their opinion is. And do your own thing. You don't realize how much control you have over your own destiny. And a lot of times you let people, whether it be your parents, whether it be a spouse, girlfriend, child, dictate to you what it is you want to do with your own life. And then you get older and realize that you've wasted years trying to make other people happy instead of walking your own walk. So why not make this step right now and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to walk my own walk to hell with what everybody else is talking about. I don't have time to be trying to appease them. I don't care that, you know, I have a different opinion about the way the world works and what makes me happy. I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna walk my own walk. I'm gonna create my own path and be the creator of my own destiny. All these different things, once you change your mindset, the energy will follow. Everybody thinks that things work on a physical level, but first and foremost, in order for something to uh, basically come to conception in the physical world, you have to visualize it in your mind. You have to create what it is you're trying to uh, live out first mentally and feel that you can actually do that before it actually become a physical object and so visualizing what it is you want where it is you want to go what it is you want to become starts first with a thought that thought of the seed that sprouts in your mind and as you water it by feeding it positive uh, affirmations positive po other positive thoughts positive energy you'll start to meet people in the most unlikely places just for example today I was taking lift I was uh, going over to pick up one of my cars and I started talking with this guy you know big brother from uh, Louisiana we chopping it up and he's you know first thing he said when I got in the car he's like hey man I, I you know I like your SS you know I had the Chevelle parked in the driveway and I'm like, oh, is that right, man? You in the cars? He's like, yeah, you know, we're from down south, man. So, you know, we into the cars. I said, oh, okay. I'm a big car guy. I'm in the cars. I got, you know, a couple cars and blah, blah, blah. And, when, you know, then he puts his pot on the phone and we chopping it up and we exchange numbers and, you know, fuck, man, I made a new friend catching a lift, you know? And uh, you never know where people like this are going to expose themselves, but you have to be prepared. You have to be tuned in. You know, if I wasn't tuned in, I would have just ignored them, you know, not commented back, sat back there on my phone, you know, uh, just been antisocial. But because I've been putting out good vibes about, you know, uh, success, positivity, um, making things happen, you know, this person, we, you know, we hit it off. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we can link up on some things and maybe, uh, you know, make some stuff happen. But it's cool to meet people 
and be able to share, you know, insight on different things and be able to, uh, you know, maybe feed each other positivity. And like I said, this goes all back to walking your own walk, you know, figuring out what it is that makes you happy, what it is you want to do with your life, what it is you want to accomplish and what your end game is. You know, I get people asking me all kind of questions about, you know, prison and, and, you know, uh, uh, working out, investing. And at the end of the day, you have to do your own homework. You got to do your own research. You got to put in your own work. I can't work out for you, but you have to have the mindset to do everything it is you want to do physically. If you want to invest, you want to build a study, you want you got to do your research, your homework. You you got to, you know, you got to you got to say, "Hey man, I'm I'm going to take the time and maybe put aside a TV show here or there or or put aside, you know, uh Facebook time and do some research, you know. You you can't just go off what somebody else tells you. If you want to get in shape, you want to work out, you're going to have to, you know, um leave maybe American Idol for a little bit and go to the gym and, you know, put in some work and hurt a little bit. But whatever it is, you know, walk your own walk. You got to you got to make the effort. You got to make the effort. You got to be willing to take the first steps. And, you know, the ultimate goal in life is to be happy. For you to be happy. You know, I hear people all the time, well, you know, it is what it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it might be that way for you, but I'm not a motherfucker who's just going to accept it is what it is. You know, if that's what you accept, then stay the hell away from me because we're not in the same lane. I'm all about making it, making it how I want to make it. You know, doing what I want to do. I'm not going to do something because you don't like it because you ain't, you ain't me. So I'm going to walk my own path. I'm not going to let you dictate to me why I should be uh, appeasing you so that you'll be happy, but I'm unhappy. What kind of sense does that make? You know, oh, I'm so unhappy. I can't, you know, I can't stand my girlfriend. I can't stand my wife. You talk all this shit about her as soon as she calls. Oh, my wife, I got to go. Wait, 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 where are you going? You were just talking shit about her. You just said that you don't get no sex. You know, she's a, she's a headache, blah, blah, blah. But then you running to go uh, cater to her? What, what, what is that? That's a motherfucking weenie. That's somebody who doesn't walk their own walk. But then they talk a lot of shit, but then they still have the person next to them and are sleeping with them. You know what kind of contradictory energy you're sending out into the world? What type of messages you're sending out to the universe? You talk shit about somebody, but they're your, supposed to be your soulmate, and then you share a bed with them. You'll never be successful. You're a dummy. Because you don't talk mess about your wife or your husband, then sleep with them, but expect to grow and be successful together. That don't even make sense. Come on, do the math. Negative, negative, and you want a positive? All you gotta do is go sit in motherfucking uh, first grade math and they'll tell you that don't add up. So walk your own walk, live your own path, and be the, you know, be the, 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 the creator of your own destiny, man. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. You know what I'm saying? Be about your business and be happy in life. Don't say, well, uh, it just is what it is. That's loser talk. And we don't, we're not losers on this channel. Everybody here is, is looking for success and positivity and motivation. Big Herc 916. Subscribe to the channel.